Hi everybody. This is the Sonicator equipment that we'll be using to uh, lyse the cells. As you can see here, uh, this is the control interface where we set the amplitude and the time at which it will run and at, for the time it will stop. Because when we sonicate any samples, the, a lot of heat is generated and we should be able to let the sample down to come down to a cool, like a cool temperature and then again start the sonication process. So what we'll be doing here is run the whole thing for 30 seconds, then give a stop interval for 30 seconds more, and then again start the same thing. And when we're using this, we should use the earmuffs because ultra high frequency sound can really damage your ears. And as you can see here, we have put the sample that you just gave us into the ice bath and put it down to cool temperature. So once this is cool enough, we'll start the sonication process. The needle here that you can see is the sonicator needle. Uh, it will emit out the high frequency sound waves in this and it will be dipped right into inside the bacterial culture. And we'll just dip it down until it goes right into the culture solution. That's it. And it's all ready to, all set to start the run. So we'll close the glass chamber. You might not be able to hear anything when the sonicator starts, but then it gives a slight shrieking noise. And it has been set for three minutes with 30 second gap intervals in between. And we'll start the test now. Now the sonicator has started. And we really can't see the solution inside, but it must be probably frothing up. That's what happens when the sonicator starts and the heat, heat temperature goes on. So with the ice, the temperature should hopefully remain quite low and not damage the bacterial protein. As you can see here now, it has stopped for 30 seconds automatically. And it will allow the solution to come back to the cold temperature for 30 seconds and again for 30 seconds it will start and continue the same procedure for three times. And with the sonicator high, high frequency sound, the cell walls will get ruptured and all the proteins will come out in the solution and get dissolved. So when we give it back to you, you will be centrifuging it and the supernatant will contain all your proteins. And that is what we will be using for the Bradford's protein assay.